In this video, we're going to be talking about something very fundamental. What is the difference between a line chart and an area chart? So let's do it. Okay, here we are in Tableau and I've got this page open because this question came from Shashank Puthran. And the question is line chart to area chart, reason of Y axis number changing. So Y axis being the vertical axis. Hi Jed, can you elaborate why, uh, when we convert line chart into area, the Y axis number uh, changes? Okay, so this is actually a very, very important question because this is like, how do you read the data? This isn't even about decision making or visualization uh, per se. It's more like just how do you read it uh, for that type? So let me show you uh, why it does it. Um, I'm going to attach this Superstore data set. So it's in the description below if you guys want to follow along. And here we go. So we're going to start with a simple visualization. I'm going to take order date. And we're going to go, I'm going to go quarter for this one. We're going to add sales. So I'm just going to double click. Okay. So we have a very simple line. I'm going to do running total. And the only reason I'm doing running total, you don't have to do this as part of area charts or line charts. I just want a simple straight line. That's all. Okay. So we have area chart like so. And then what I want to do is I want to split this up somehow. So I'm going to use ship status. I'm going to drop that into color. And now we have three independent lines. And I also want the label. So let me grab this value. And actually, you know what, let's change this to year. I'm going to make it even simpler. Oh, wrong year, this year. All right, so we got the year there. And I'm going to hold control all right, and duplicate this into label so that we have values. All right, there we go. So with a, with a line chart, you can read the line. They're, they're independent lines. In, and what I mean by that is, if I just pick, pick one, you just read it as is. The value for this point really is 289,000. The value for this point is, you know, just shy of 1.2 million. But in an area chart, what you're actually doing is you're adding up these three values and stacking them on top of one another. So for example, let's say we do this one and I'm going to simplify these values. I'm going to go into a text. I'm going to go format and we're going to go and convert this to, if I go number thousands. So we have, we have some big round numbers get rid of the decimals okay that's a little bit simpler so let's do a little test if you look at them independently they just match whatever the axis is okay same here 629 and here 1.2 roughly if you add these three up you end up with drum roll okay so 1159 plus 629 plus 509 okay 2.2, uh, let's say 2.3, so 2,300 uh, value. And what happens is when you go to an area chart, it stacks them on top of one another. So how do I visualize this? If I think of these as in the, as individual bars, okay? Uh, how am I gonna draw this? Hang on. So I'll do this first one, I'll do them side by side. So that's the first one, okay? Then you got the orange one here, that's another one. And then you got the red one here, okay? Now, if I stack these on top of one another, okay, so let's do that. <laughs> I'm not going to fit, but let's say I've got it all the way up to the top here, right? If you stack them up, it's going to be 2,300, and that's exactly what an area chart does. So if I switch this to an area, you'll see the labels here are the same, but the stacked value is 2,300. 300. So you can really think of an area chart as really stacked bar charts. That's really all it's doing. The, um, the danger with it is if you accident, if you put labels on like this, this is a danger because if you go, oh, 629, people think that this is 629. That is not true. The real representation is, if I just get rid of that, this is 629. This is 509. And this is 11.59. If I do the, this, you can see bars. I think I said this like 30 times just then. They are stacked on top of one another. That is the fundamental difference between line charts and area charts. So very simple. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.